This is a claim synthesized by Graham Hancock, which I support. The concept that there once existed an advanced worldwide civilization that had the equivalent technological capabilities to what we have today, if not greater. And at the end of the last ice age, they were struck down by a catastrophic event. We find pyramids and megaliths around the world. We are told that there are no connections between the cultures that constructed these megaliths. The established view will place the inhabitants surrounding each of these megaliths to be the descendants of the creators. But in most circumstances, such as the one in central Mexico, the inhabitants themselves have claimed to have inherited these structures from earlier people, who most would refer to as the gods. All these structures have a relationship with a phenomenon known as the procession of the equinoxes, a process of recording time in relationship to a slow wobble of the earth on its axis. A process that no primitive society could have possibly observed, as this wobble takes roughly 25,920 fucking years to complete, moving one degree every 72 years. Next are the Piri Rees maps, which are a series of 16th century maps depicting Antarctica. The weird thing is Antarctica wasn't supposed to have been discovered until the late 18th century. These Piri Rees maps not only depict Antarctica, some of these maps depict the fucking topographical landscape of Antarctica beneath the ice. So something isn't right. Is there evidence to support the claim that an advanced civilization existed before the end of the last ice age and was struck down in cataclysm. Yes, there is. Surveys of ice core samples confirm that the Earth suddenly and drastically increased in temperature, causing a meltdown of the glacier that once covered the northern hemisphere of the Earth and they pin it to 12,500 years ago. The Earth subsequently went into another period of deep freeze, like a flash freeze known as the Younger Dryas, which lasted over a thousand years. What caused the sudden meltdown of the Ice Age? Recent findings in geological surveys around the northern hemisphere of the Earth detect carbon microspherals, molten remains of a comet at the 12,500 year mark, precisely when the Ice Age meltdown had occurred. Traces of nuclear glass could be found all around the northern hemisphere of the Earth. Such crystals can only be formed under intense high pressure and heat as experienced during such a comet impact event. This impact event is classified as the YDB impact event. This comet impact wiped out all the mega mammals of the Ice Age. The bones of mammoths and bison show tiny holes with a burned halo surrounding the hole. Unusual isotopic composition also found within the bones, i.e. radiation. The reason that no impact crater exists is simply because that this comet hit the ice glacier that covered the northern hemisphere of the Earth. It was a two mile thick piece of ice. The kinetic force of the comet impact would melt down the ice at such a rapid rate that mass floods would occur, raging through the entire planet. Waves up to a thousand feet high just ripping through the lands, virtually destroying everything in its path before adding itself into the rising sea levels. Physical evidence showcasing the remnants of the mass floods can be found around North America. The reason why the Great Lakes exist, the reason why Hudson Bay exists, the reason why Canada is split into thousands of different lakes and rivers is because of this massive meltdown. A particularly interesting spot would be in the Washington state. It is quite similar to the Grand Canyon, except the Grand Canyon took millions of years to form, whereas this, massive volumes of water pushed chunks of land throughout the entire area. You could literally see where it just pushed through. Massive boulders can be found that have no explanation of how they even got to where they are. It seems more likely that these massive boulders around North America were pushed by the flood. And the sea levels did rise, about 400 feet. You could actually see the topographical maps of the world showing the land masses as they were before the meltdown of the last ice age, before the flood submerged these lands. This is why different cultures and religions around the world have flood myths or speak of a great flood, forcing humanity to restart. Consider this. The established view is that humanity slowly progressed from a hunter-gatherer species to an advanced civilization within a span of 10,000 years. Well, if it only takes 10,000 years for us to evolve from a primitive tribe to an advanced species, how many times 
have we risen and fallen as a species if we're looking at the fossil record which shows that for 180,000 years at least we were the same creature as we are now. Religions metaphorically tell the story of how man has risen to the height of the gods only to be struck down the Tower of Babel, the lost city of Atlantis, the Epic of Gilgamesh. Curiously, Plato, the man who tells the story of Atlantis, says it submerged around 10,500 BC, which places his story, his flood myth, directly in line with the evidence suggesting a mass flood to have occurred at that time, 10,500 BC, due to the meltdown of the ice glacier caused by the comet impact. The comet impact that wiped out this worldwide civilization that we descend from. The catastrophe literally divided mankind, forcing us to resettle in separate locations, to restart again, generation by generation, slowly forgetting our past as we re-evolved and restarted our entire civilization. 